Good morning. Daylight is giving us an initial look at the damage caused by Harvey. Behind me, you can see trees down outside of our hotel. To the north of here, the damage is much more significant, but the danger isn't over yet. Bands of torrential rain and high winds pounded the Texas Gulf Coast all night. Harvey first made landfall about 30 miles northeast of Corpus Christi as a Category 4 hurricane, the most intense storm to hit the U.S. in more than a decade. 125 mile per hour winds took aim at the town of Rockport. Part of the high school caved in, and this hotel is missing part of its third floor. Nearby, wind whipped up flames, destroyed three homes. The monster storm is weakening, but tornadoes are possible and up to three feet of rain. Already more than 200,000 people are without power. It's prompted a boil water advisory here in Corpus Christi. Anyone who stayed behind has been told to boil their water before they consume it. As Harvey approached, officials urged coastal residents to evacuate. Many boarded buses and headed inland. Texas Governor Greg Abbott visited a shelter in San Antonio. The most important thing that you can do is to safeguard your own life. Still in the storm's path, flood-prone Houston and the city's more than 2 million residents, as well as key oil refineries. Harvey is expected to stick around for days and could spin back into the Gulf and strike again next week. Some places have already seen more than 9 inches of rain from Harvey. Much more is ahead. At last check, at least 200,000 people in this region were without power. We're live in Corpus Christi, Texas. This morning. I'm Don Champion. Now back to you.